I'm always shaping the light till it just feels right for the scene. Does it feel right for the story? There's no finite answer for that. My name is Eric Koritz. I'm a cinematographer. I'm most known for Ozark and Special Ops Lioness. Sculpting light to me is how I tell a story. Let me talk to let me talk to Eric about that, but I think that might look cool. My name is Tyler Kashke. I'm a gaffer based in Denver, Colorado, and I'm probably most known for the content I make on my Instagram page, uh, which is Colorado Gaffer. I started the Instagram page kind of coming out of the pandemic as a way to get in the headspace of being on set and thinking about lighting. We'll try that skip bounce over the water. We'll fake the water. Same sparkle effect. I'm very focused on quality of light right there and then just go up a little bit higher with it. I started out in photography and graphic design. We'll use a big soft one when we get closer up. We'll see what kind of throw this had. Yeah. We well, might as well try it. I studied still photography in college. Photo was a brand that I was always familiar with. Their reputation is based on a track record of excellence in robust equipment and beautiful quality of light. I always use Pro Photo lights, and I always especially love their modifiers as well. Do you have a favorite? I could never pick a favorite. <laughs> the Soft Zoom Reflector and the L1600D have a beautiful quality to it where it's directional but soft. I think if we just tilt this down, we might be able to get it. For me, when I come to set, I want to hear what everyone's opinions are and how they would use something. I'm not a DP dictator. Rick. Sparkles. I'm feeling that. Yeah, hold that there. Being that second set of eyes and having the ability to call things out, I think is what makes a gaffer's relationship to a cinematographer something really special. When shooting films, we are in all kinds of environments, from rain to sleet to snow to dirt to dust. Films usually in the worst elements possible. <laughs> Having a light that's IP54 rated is very important. Let's shoot it. Time is money in this business. You want to make sure your light works in all environments, and having that rating is key. You can't be too delicate. They're working tools that need to withstand wear and tear. You look so good. You happy? Yeah, I think it looks great. And roll down. Speed. Rolling, rolling. I think a good test of a light is how well it plays with any cinema light. Set with the L1600D. It's sort of a Swiss army knife where you can shape it and make it exactly what you need it to be. This is a tool for the modern era. We have to be quick. Without a ballast, you can rig it in ways that other lights really can't be rigged. There's the pressure to just move fast and finish things. Some of the challenges that we've faced with other LED lights from the past and present is light quality. What delicate work. It is at 50 right now, you just want to see 100. Ooh, right. The L1600D is a pure daylight light. That means you're getting the highest quality color balance. You want it to be the purest color possible out of an LED. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> For me, I love beautiful soft light. I got the New York job. It's important for the light to be very powerful so that I can bounce it and then diffuse it. In a narrative sense, you don't want it to look lit. You want it to feel, you know, that the light is coming from somewhere, like either a light or direct from the sun. I think we're good. Let's take it. Set. The quality of light has evolved over the years, and what I love about LEDs these days is they're getting more and more powerful and energy efficient, so we can sort of move into a new generation of lights.
There's an old saying that painting with light and the lights themselves are, are brushes that you are using to shape an image. I like to pull into the nuance of light quality and shaping, keeping it controlled in a way so it's not just spreading everywhere and kind of just where you want it to be. For this look, it's just softer beauty light. So bringing something like the five foot octa inside close to the subject to let the light really wrap on the face. We are controlling the spill with our grippage to keep it from spraying all over the place. And then back down just a hair. We're gonna put another source out the window here, and then we'll kind of skip into one of these mirror reflectors to kind of do some more of the twinkly light that we had before. To me, lighting is everything, and being able to shape the light is everything in getting the story across. There's so much emotion in talent in the actor and you can change the emotion of a scene by changing the modifiers. Having these modifiers, I think, is really the thing that's most unique about this light. I want the light to evoke emotion. I want the light to evoke a mood based off of what the story is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The Deacon's <laughs> philosophy and that light should inform the story. I got it, I got the job. I got the job, the job. It shouldn't showboat on its own. The one here, right? No, 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 on Broadway. The point of light is to bring the story forward and to tell it in the best way. Broadway, New York. What I love most about the L1600D is the power of the light, the quality of the light, which is beautiful. Photo as a brand has been around since the 1960s, and to me it's been synonymous with the best photographers and the best photography in the world. I'm excited to bring their new cinema light into my world, and I know there's more to come. Good for Melanie, good for camera. That was it. Camera's good, light is good. And cut.